If you're new to the cloud or if you know how to perform certain tasks like how to secure storage for Azure files and blob storage or how to deploy and configure Azure Monitor and so on and you would like to validate your knowledge about this concept, now you can. And that is through the new Microsoft Applied Skills credentials. And guess what? It is free right now. There are many Applied Skills credentials available such as Secure Storage for Azure Files and Azure Blob Storage. There is Deploy Containers by using Azure Kubernetes Services and so on. The deal here is that it is free, but it's only free for a limited time. So what is Microsoft Applied Skills Credentials? It's not exactly the same as certification. Rather, it's a scenario-based test that tests your proficiency in specific Microsoft Cloud tasks. Think of it as a practical application of your skills in real-world scenarios. Now, it doesn't mean that certifications are going away. Certifications like the AZ-900, AZ-104 and so on have been the standard, providing expertise in a particular area of Microsoft technology. Getting a certification like the AZ-104, for example, will take you some time. You have to spend some time learning tons of stuff, and it can be a little discouraging, let's face it. Microsoft Applied Skills, on the other hand, directly assess your ability to perform more specific tasks. It is quicker to prepare for and to pass, and it is more encouraging. It is somewhat similar to the GCP skilled badges. If you are new to Microsoft, taking advantage of this Applied Skills Credential test is a fantastic opportunity, considering that they are currently free of charge right now. So you can get it today. Now, how do you do it? What's the assessment like? How can you earn your Applied Skills Credentials? Let me walk you through how you can prepare and get ready for your Microsoft Skills Credentials. First, visit Microsoft Credentials page at learn.microsoft.com forward slash credentials. Under Microsoft Applied Skills, click on Browse Applied Skills. For a list of all the available Applied Skills, select any one that you're interested in. And let's say you're only interested in Azure Applied Skills, you can filter by clicking on Azure Filter here. Let's assume that you would like to have the Applied Skills credentials for deploy containers by using Azure Kubernetes Service. Give that a click. Here's the button that you need to click on to take the assessment. So if you're ready for the assessment, you can just go ahead and click on it. But if you'd like to practice before taking the assessment, you will need to scroll down and complete these lessons here. You will need to have a valid Azure subscription, by the way, if you really want to get your hands dirty with this. Let's click on one of the lessons. How about we click on Deploy an Azure Kubernetes Service Cluster. So I'll give that a click. You can check out if there are prerequisites uh, for this. In this case, there are no prerequisites, so I can click on the Start button. And as you can see here, this lesson is a scenario-based lesson. So just make sure that you go through all the lessons. At the end of each lesson, you're going to find a live exercise that you can use to get your hands dirty with, where you're going to actually do all this cool stuff in real time. And as you can see here, you're not alone. This is a step-by-step -step on how to get the task completed. So you can log into your Azure subscription and follow this task step-by-step. -step. So in a nutshell, Microsoft Applied Skills is cool to have. It provides a hands-on approach to showcase your cloud proficiency. So if you have the time, you can go ahead and get as many skills credentials as you can, at least while it is free. Especially if you're new, I think you should go ahead and do it right now. Because you never know, you might be able to use this to apply for a new job. If you're unsure which cloud skills to acquire, I had an interview some time ago with Johnny Chips on this topic. So you can check out the link in the description for more insights. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about it. And if you've got some already, let me know too in the comment section down below.
make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next one bye bye